Tak, já bych vám dneska ráda tady představila studium. I'd like to introduce to you two new qualification study for the principles of school and educational institutions, which is called the leader of the school. And as you can see, it has been prepared in cooperation with the National Pedagogical Institute, a non-profit organization Učitel Naživo, uh, and uh, the Ministry of Education. This study focuses on pedagogical leadership, and what I rejoice most of all is that this study was launched this week on Tuesday and Wednesday, and we had 72 students, future school principals. I think we can all agree that our children are in the center of all the programs, and we didn't speak a lot about that yesterday, so I'd like to uh, bring the attention back to our children. And because our aim was not to prepare methodologies or textbooks for the general public, but we wanted through the qualification study tool to address the bottom neck, which we think are uh, school principals and their in-service education at the very beginning of their professional career so that they could start performing the work well right from the start. And we believe that the qualification study is the best possibility. We didn't ask what the principals need, but we asked what the children at schools need from uh, teachers and leaders of schools. Here we can see an ideal model that all children uh, learn to do fullest, uh, uh, cheerfully and with equal chances, and they leave the schools prepared for the challenges and opportunities of the 21st century. We want the children to look forward to attending schools and to use their potential to the utmost. And we know that the school principals can influence this most. And we have a special department in our institute that helps with this goal. What we know already is that the school principal has the biggest formal and informal impact on what is happening at schools, uh, set the atmosphere in the school and the mood, and also shapes the culture in the school, sets the vision. According to the research, we can see that up to one third of the children learn is influenced by the principles. There are no significant enhancements without good pedagogical leadership and without good um, managers and leaders. Good principal has a lot of obligations, but also a lot of freedom in how uh, to uh, run the school. The degree of autonomy is quite high, and the responsibility of Czech school principles compared to other countries is quite high, one of the highest in the world, as we could see on the graphs. According to OECD, the position of uh, Czech principles is uh, even more substantial because Czech educational system is quite decentralized. Almost 70% of decisions is made at the school level. Therefore, the role of the school principal is so significant in the Czech Republic. I'd like to say that we don't think that we would reinvent the wheel. It is not something new uh, from the recent years. We've known that for quite a long time what the school principal should look like and what they should know. The teachers of uh, such 
school principal who is a good pedagogical leader or achieved by uh, the teachers, but we know it not only from the foreign resources, but also from high quality schools in the Czech Republic. Uh, there are many of them and they are very often visited by other school principals and they also uh, learn uh, new knowledge. You also had the opportunity to visit a grammar school Nazatlan yesterday in Prague, which is quite a unique uh, uh, secondary school. We have many good uh, leaders who are not visible. They uh, maintain the know-how in their own school and uh, um, they. Uh, it would be great if they could join the new uh, projects and to pass the knowledge. Whatever the name we give it, be it either the pedagogical leader or the learning leader or lead who participates in the education, it is true that we need to significantly shift the content of the qualification study for the principals. And the change is now happening. And, uh, uh, and that is very good. And therefore, we introduced the study leader of the school in order to support the future principals on their journey to become pedagogical leaders. We can see a photograph from the first meeting where we have the first principal and the representative of the school. It is not enough to say that we will start to educate pedagogical leaders and we uh, feel satisfied, uh, but we need to adjust the content and to maintain sustainability and support for the future years. Now, I'd like to describe what the leader of the school program is different from the others. Of course, we don't have much time for the presentation, so I try to simplify it into three uh, pillars. So the first thing is how we prepared the study. There is a reverse logic of the design behind we focused on pedagogical leadership, and with that, we also want to train other managerial skills of the leader. We also draw from the Czech and foreign experience, and we want to maintain uh, the shaping of the learning culture throughout the two-year study. With this respect, we actually uh, strengthened 10 times the content that focuses on pedagogical leadership, which is quite new. And we uh, even in spite of that, we think it could be even more. It is more than double. Uh, of the hours, it's uh, 250 compared to uh, previous uh, qualification studies, which had uh, 120. And we also added 126 hours for the following topics like self knowledge, management versus leadership, communication and management of the team, motivation of the team, evaluation and planning, as well as pedagogical leadership. We Inspired from, we were inspired uh, from the formats that are already established here, and uh, it's good to know that this topic has uh, been resonated by general. Uh, public. We also have other programs like Lead Life or Teach Life offered by various non-profit organizations. We also help schools to achieve uh, uh, success and we were inspired by New York Leadership Academy or uh, uh, Banksy College. We believe that the most important is to focus on um, uh, those leaders who are on the job and also to uh, experience a safe culture, safe space. And they need a lot of time for that. 
and uh, also the environment with uh, good trainers uh, and this is much better for them to transmit the knowledge into their school environment. Um, it is about the change of the mindset, which is important and requires more time than one year of study. We have two study groups at the moment. The study it takes up to 24 hour uh, days of uh, uh, meetings. We have 17 experienced uh, trainers who are ready to support the participants of the program on the long term. These are top principles from various levels of school psychology and uh, lawyers uh, and teachers and there's quite a lot of us and we are happy that we have been joined by people who have uh, been experienced trainers and lecturers and are willing to help us with that so we really rejoice about that. We believe that it is important to establish a relationship with the participants and to provide support to them. Um, so uh, the teachers will be modeling and shaping the learning culture together with their participants. There's quite a lot of people interested in the study. We have 270 applicants this year. We didn't expect that. Uh, in the Czech Republic, there are about up to 650 uh, people that want to um, attend this program. This is the first pilot project. It is local, based only in Prague, and it is quite demanding in terms of um, times and effort. And in spite of that, uh, people are interested. So we can see it is really a uh, um, topic uh, that resonates with the school le leaders. Uh, uh, the study takes two years, there are 215 hours at educational sessions. Uh, it is a combination of face-to-face -face and uh, online learning. There are four two-day meetings and four one-day meetings within the first uh, year of the study. There is also 35 hours of internship with experienced uh, directors, and the study is completed with the final thesis and exam. Now. Uh, uh, we need to do um, careful piloting, uh, evaluation, and possibly scaling up uh, across the regions. So please keep our fingers crossed for us uh, so that it will be successful. And that's all on my part. Thank you. Maybe just a small <clears throat> Perhaps technical, perhaps not question. Um, what is the involvement of NPI, Učitel na živo, and uh, Ministry of Education? Could you kind, kind of specify uh, this, this cooperation? Yeah, yeah, thank you. It's a very good uh, question. Uh, well, the Ministry of Education is aware that the pedagogical leadership is very important uh, for directors, and they wanted to support the whole idea. Uh, Učitel na živo is an NGO who provides a program, two years program for directors. And this is the know-how that we implemented into this studies for, uh, for directors. And National Pedagogical Institute is for long, long years uh, providing the education for uh, directors, school directors. So this is the cooperation, how to share the good know-how that is already evaluated for many years and how to give it to system, to check educational system and help out with that. I would like to thank you for your presentation. I would also like to thank our interpreters who are serving us so beautifully here. Um, I'm quite 
well, network, so following what we do with uh, educational leadership, education here and there, and uh, somehow on the side also following what takes place in the Czech Republic. And I'm very happy about what I'm hearing and what, and what you presented to us. Uh, I, I can also say that you have great experts on board, as I recognize the principal of the gymnasium, not yeah, yeah. in the photos. Mm -hmm. you, you did it so quickly that I could not take a photo of it, though, but I, I could recognize her. No, you don't have to go back. You don't have to go back. Uh, I'm very interested in if you have study points for what you are now providing and, and how much it is and how it is um, distributed within uh, the content. So will we hear it during uh, the presentations here now? And that's my question too. How many study points and, and uh, how is it? So, sorry, can you repeat the question again? Yes. Does your program have um, like an ECTS credit? Uh, if it's like easy accessible or no 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 as yes it okay okay I'm sorry I didn't understand quite clearly um, no no Right. They don't get credits for that. Yeah. Uh, what can you say about the um, size of the program then? How would you describe that? Uh, well, size, do you mean how many hours? Yes, or, something yeah. like it's that. It's 250 hours, the whole studies. And uh, basically, in the end, they have, to, they have exams and they will present a portfolio full of their like experiences from their job and they will collect all the knowledge from the program and then present it uh, to the lectors in the end. Yeah. That's the final exam. Thank you and very happy that the Czech educational leaders are getting this kind of support. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, uh, it was so nice to hear about that uh, you have the pedagogical leadership in a uh, big role in your uh, uh, trainings. Uh, uh, it's also my research area, pedagogical leadership. That's why I'm so happy about that. But um, there is a different definitions about pedagogical leadership. H how you define that and, and uh, what you include in your courses of pedagogical leadership? Okay, thank you. That's a very good question. When I was asking that to uh, the people who were making this uh, the program, like all of those people, when we were talking about it, well, basically, they didn't agree what is the pedagogical leader, because everyone has a different approach, and it is always an open discussion, like who is the pedagogical leader. But as far as what I understand and what I can tell uh, when I look at it, I think or we think that it's always the person who set up the vision and culture at school. It's the first person who is example for uh, other people, for all the teachers, for the children. And for example, if you enter the school as a director and you want the kids to change their shoes, you change the shoes as a first person. And if you go to um, the place where you get lunch, uh, you don't run in the queue to be the first one. No, you wait, same as the children in the queue. And you're always the example for others. Thank you. Slovenia, Michaela okay. from Slovenia. Yes. Um, congratulations. I think that's a quite a big step for the Czech Republic and um, great work that you're doing. Um, I was wondering what made you decide to almost double the number of hours? Because if I understood correctly, 
it was 120 something at the very beginning and now it's almost o or over 200 so that that's one of the questions i'll go a bit more into detail because i didn't quite understand at the very beginning so is it uh, if i understood correctly it's not obligatory for principals to pass this kind of uh program or not mm -hmm. so that that's another question and when do they enter this kind of program so is it prior to headship or prior to being appointed? Is it at the very beginning? And I mean, it's very difficult from our experience in Slovenia, uh, at least the principals report that those who enter the in-service training with us mm -hmm. and at the same time when they're appointed, it's extremely difficult for them in one year to pass mm -hmm. uh, with all those stepping into the principalship and being very difficult and at the same time also attending in-service training. And I would be very um, interested in, if you could explain a bit in detail, how does the thesis look like? So because you mentioned there's a final exam and the thesis, so I would be interested in how this looks like. And uh, you also mentioned, I think, 35 lessons of uh, internship with an experienced uh, head teacher. So if you could elaborate a bit on that. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the questions. I'll try to tr answer all of it. Well, we decided to double the hours because we think that the change at the school, like with the team, with the teachers, with all the children and setting up the vision and culture is a process. It cannot be done fast because then it would be the director deciding about it needs to be done in a short time. We think that this process takes a lot of time and that's why we want the attendants, the students to be there for two years and make sure that they're confident enough, they know the, like, what does it mean to be a director and we think that the two years is minimum because basically if you imagine what the director has to do on a daily basis at school, uh, where he would find time to talk about the vision, set up the culture, talking with the a team and stuff like that. So we think that the two years is uh, the minimum. And there was a question about the thesis, same as the visits at the school, the 35 hours. Uh, the thesis is something Basically, uh, they collect all the information and all the knowledge from the two years and they reflect uh, their, uh, their work uh, at school. And then it's more like a process and they discuss it with all those uh, people at the, at the program. It's not some like paperwork that someone would read and say, let's say, okay, that's brilliant uh, and you passed. It's more like uh, we want to see how they developed and if the mindset is, is changed and the heart is open uh, to, uh, to help the children and help the team. Was there something else that you were asking? It is. They have to. They have to. Thank you. They have to attend the program. They don't get the credits, but they need to. They need to be there. I think for seventy-five percent of the whole program. This is the minimum that they need to attend, so they would pass the uh, pass the uh, studies. And they enter the program immediately when they are being nominated. Oh, I see. That's that's a very good question. When we were setting up the whole uh, program, we were thinking and had like a lot and lot of discussion for who is this program? Is it for leaders who teach children for four years, five years, ten years, and they want to repeat uh, all the laws and financials, but add the pedagogical leadership? But then we were thinking, let's do it, because it's the first year that we're doing it, let's do it for the directors who will get to the schools this year, so they will start immediately, because we will help them throughout the whole process. 
or let's make it maximum for directors who started two, three years ago. So that's the maximum, that's the line. If they're like directors for more than three years, they cannot attend. Maybe in the future, we will see how it goes. Okay, and not for the so-called aspiring head teachers. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the NGO, Učitel na živo, as I was talking about it, they have a program for director and the head teacher or the person who is like setting up the stuff at school legally, same as the director. But here, we left it just for the directors, but we have many, many directors this year who came with the teachers as well, or with someone else from the school. Because we think that this, like, they can encourage themselves while setting up the changes at school. Okay, and, and an internship, just what is exactly, what does it mean when you, when you say an internship and a 35 uh, hours okay. of internship? Okay, we're still, like, because it's a, it's a new pilot program, we're still discussing that, like, what's, what it's gonna look like, what will be the details. So it's still an open discussion about, from all of those people, so we will see. But we want the uh, people, the directors, visit the very good schools that we know about, so they could learn there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christina, Christina. and I would like to ask the very last question as uh, the whole program sounds really interesting. I'm proud that our organization has drafted such a program. What, what was the biggest challenge when you were drafting the program? Well, can I answer in English? Of course. For everyone. Uh, well, what was... What was the most challenging? I would say that the most challenging was to do it in such a short time. I mean, because there were right people on right positions and the, the time is like open for this change. So we were like, okay, let's do it. We have a year and a half, two years, let's prepare it. So it would be great and amazing, but we had to do it in a very short, not it wasn't very short, but it was a short time, so everyone was really into it and very motivated and everyone had the let's do attitude. That was challenging.